Hey everybody, it's Jack 20 and welcome back to Let's Play Benjo to me in the last part we got here in the sea bottom and now the reason for our grenade eggs is that. That's why you need grenade eggs. There we go. You're gonna knock out this fish's teeth. If I can hit it, that would be nice. Come on. One more, there we go. Another there. That one right in the middle. Okay, too close to that one, but anyway. Remember how Jolly, back at his uh, bar, Jolly Rogers, Jolly the frog-like thing was saying that his partner got eaten up by this fish. Welp, it's time we find her. The hard way. So that's why you need to get rid of the teeth so you can get on through. Anyway, oh boy. I think this is the only, this is one of the very few places where there are actually uh, land enemies in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. All the other ones are just sea enemies. But anyway. Oh, there she is. Well, she looks alright. Shouldn't be too bad. Is that supposed to be her voice? You know what? I wouldn't put anything past this game anymore. Who cares? Except we found her, and uh, she's gonna now escape and get back to Jolly. Any chance of a G? Oh, you better see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. See, so yeah, to get the jiggy for this. Oh, sorry, that just looks kind of messed up. Anyway, if you want to see, if you want to get the jiggy for this quest, you gotta go all the way back to Jolly, which I'm not gonna be doing for a while. Oh no, we got. Uh, I got plenty of things to do on my to-do list, and going to the surface anytime soon is not on it. Yes, I hear you, Jinjo. That is a Jinjo, by the way. It's at the it's at the end of this uh, little hull or intestine or esophagus, whatever you want to call it. Let's just get out of it. Let's get out of here right now. I'm getting uh, flashbacks to Clanker's Cavern and other certain areas. Doesn't help that this water's like red, ew. <laughs> anyway, finally we're out of that big old thicket of things. But yeah, we don't have to go in there anymore. We're all done there. All right now, if we were to continue down, there's a warp path. If you were to continue down here, You'd see a little greenish tunnel leading over here. Get your ice eggs ready. Because we see another octopus. See if we can get him. There we go. Let's keep moving. Let's keep going. Uh, oh, shoot. Too close to that one. Come on. We're almost out of here. Oh, shoot, he's from back. I don't think he can, I don't think he can actually hurt you. I think he just keeps knocking you back. Anyway, here we are in the great underwater locker room. I guess if you want, on the, uh, there's a honeycomb, empty honeycomb over there, I'll show you how to get that, ah, oh, I'll show you how to get that honeycomb locked later, but anyway, I guess on these lockers are actually the, uh, get some eggs, they're actually the names of, uh, the rare, the, the, the cast members of rare, you'll see that over there, that locker that's all broken, it says D. Jones, obviously Davy Jones locker, we'll get into more what that is later. But yeah, all these, uh, people, uh, on the other lockers, except for the Davy Jones locker, all the other ones... Uh, are basically the initials and last names of people who actually are on rare or part of the company and yeah, we're gonna go through this tunnel now and uh, oh man another one. Oh yeah I get him right in the face there we go shouldn't be too much of a problem just keep on moving there we go and now we'll enter this new area which is, come on, here we are. Uh, we're back in Atlantis, but now we're on uh, like one of the other far sides of it. Yeah, a sunken ship. Ooh, I wonder what's in this chest here. As if it's any, as if it's any uh, obvious. Sweet. Okay, now time to show you what the, the little torpedo thing is. Press, C, press, C, press A and press B to go back into it. I'll be showing that a little bit more later, but that was just a quick little thing of it. You can basically use it on boulders that have Kazooie's face on them, which we have seen quite a few of them. And uh, basically anything that has Kazooie's face on it that's underwater, that's what you use it for. Shoot, Ice Egg. Here we go. You have to use, yeah, yeah, basically shoot Ice Eggs at these to uh, freeze them. Oh boy, that was, a little, oh, that was a little close for comfort. Okay, moving up. Well, okay, I'm called... Okay, I'm... I am just making too many close calls with these when I'm trying to turn them off. Okay, there we go. Whoa. That was a little uh, texture problem. <coughs> ah, excuse me there. I'll sneeze. Yeah. 
I had time for that. Whoa. We're back in the water storage of Glitter Gulch Mine, but yeah. That was just, oh boy, don't want to fall down here. Oh no, 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 no. That would be a backtracking fail. Not want to go through that much backtracking. I'll just climb back up. So yeah, let's just get another Jinjo. I believe that counts for Glitter Gulch's Jinjos. I don't know. Speeding this up because we don't need to see this again. This is just me. It's just me. Swim down. Go. One more. And we are through. Okay. Now then. There's a number of things you could do right now. You could go back there and blow up the Davy Jones locker and enter it to uh, basically cue the next sequence of events for that particular thing. Just cracking my knuckles. There we go. Uh, but, or you can uh, find Humble Wumba because there is a Humble Wumba here. I'm going to show where that is because uh, personally, this other people have their own preferences. This is mine. I like to go through the sequence of events that happen in Davy Jones' locker. I like to go with. I like to go through them as the transformation that Humble Wumbo gives you in this one. Come on! Oh, shoot, I mean, one of those uh, things where a tentacle keeps blocking me. This ought to do it. There we go. Ah, that tentacle is a little close. Just keep on moving. Keep on moving. Yeah, the reason why. Oh yeah, I might as well say the reason why this video went up right after the banjo chewy part yesterday if those of you have not already learned or checked on my videos tomorrow is gonna be the day i upload my 100th video yay okay, i'm just gonna show uh we skipped this tunnel i'm gonna go in but uh and i don't know why this is just what i think i if i was to rate my let's plays i still think that the kingdom hearts let's play is of a better quality than this one this, that's just what I think. Okay, there should be a globe. There it is. It's in this little uh, tunnel-like thing in this kelp. There we go. But um, and I just well, I wanted my hundredth video to be a Kingdom Hearts one, not Banjo Tooie. That, that's just what I thought. I'm sorry, but uh, so I'm gonna do two parts of this Banjo Tooie in a row, which this will be the second one, and I'll do Kingdom Hearts tomorrow and Sunday, and then on Monday I'll and Monday I'll just uh, continue the whole process again. Yeah, we wanted to give it to you. I have some spe I have a special plan for my 100th video tomorrow, too. Alright. Oh, yeah, we gotta press A because we can't. Uh... Let's see. Well, it's conveniently placed in water, so let's see what our transformation is. A sub. Awesome. Mumba called this summary. Use control stick to turn and spot and A to speed. Press B for sonic ping attack and Z for torpedo. Awesome. This is probably one of the most armed, like, uh, oh wait, I want to land in the pool again and go through that whole cutscene again like we did with the van, but, uh, this pretty much is probably the most armed vehicle you have. You have that attack there, the solar ping, which can stun enemies, including those octopi, octopi, yeah. And you have your torpedo. And let me get this going. There it goes. Notice that the town center is all highlighted in yellow, basically saying we can't go there right now because of our submarine. <laughs> all right, we're back in the locker, and now there's two things we can do. One of them, well, there's the Davy Jones locker, but there's also one thing we can do before: drive into this big rift in the water and prepare for a game. Got down here at last, eh? How about trying my little shooting challenge? Score 60 points, and I might give you a prize. You need instructions? No, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll give you the instruction, I won't let her do it. Where basically, you're shooting these mines with your torpedoes. And as you can already tell, it follows the same scoring rubric as all the other mini games. Blue are, th blue, blue ones are worth three points, green two, red one. Here's the thing, some people go into first person, I don't. Because here's the cool thing, your torpedoes will home in on your enemies. Which in this case are these mines. They will actually curve and hit them, no matter as long as you're facing the general direction of them. So this is what I do, as you're seeing. I just drive around and I just go 
crazy with the torpedoes. I'm just going flying around, going berserk. It's quite fun, though. And just everywhere, the mines are probably one of the more easier ones, I think, just because of how easy with the homing in torpedoes, no challenge whatsoever. Just make sure you don't run into any walls. Or that you're not too close to their explosion, otherwise they'll stun you, obviously, but... This is it. I'm already... Oh, don't do that. Don't, don't fire a missile right against the wall when you're closer to you. That may not help either. I mean, come on. It's gonna be easier. Rats! You luckily scored enough point luck. Look at nothing to do with that. Excuse the pun. Anyway. Hmm. The jiggy is over here. Damn, this, little, this part always gets me because it could be on any of these. Now it's not up here. There's a shorter one. Ah. Uh, of course, it'd be all the way down here on the last one I check. There you are, my little jiggy. There we go. No, I don't want to play again. Just get me out. And it conveniently warps you back to the entrance. Now, it's time we go after whatever is in here in Davy Jones' locker. Blow it up and prepare yourself. For what I consider to be one of the most epic uh, uh, fights, as you can already start to get the mood of. Hey, Banjo! I see a Jiggy down there. Let's take a look. Oh, but no. Lord Wu Fak Fak. A self important English fish. What? Who dares intrude on Lord Wu Fak Fak while he sleeps in his apparently crap locker? Oh, uh, we've just brought some mail for you, Lord Fak. Don't lie to me. You are going to steal my jiggy and drain my home. Leave me to flop pathetically around on the bottom while I shriveled up and died, weren't you? Something like that. Ah, oh, Kazooie. Then a watery grave awaits you. Did I mention that sometimes the did I mention that the boss music is pretty epic? And all you're doing here is you're basically shooting the boils on him. Run! He pressures boils. Yeah, you, but you have to shoot him in a certain order. You have to shoot the ones that are glowing, like shimmering. Any other one won't do. See that one that's kind of glowing yellowish every now and then? Okay, get away from get away. Oh, shoot. Lightning, lightning. You should such gold tax. Okay. Also, don't want to go too too close to his mouth. Okay, there it is. Next boil. Come on. There we go. Some of these shots, man. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm making them. Because you, he's a lot. He may look like he's close, but he's actually a lot farther away than you might think. Okay, come on, get around, get around him, get around him. Fire liquid. There we go. So yeah, this part I like to go first person mode because this is more. This calls for more accurate firing. But you can also go through this boss fight as Banjo and Kazooie with your uh, grenade eggs. But what I tend to like about the submarine, the submarine has unlimited torpedoes. Banjo and Kazooie have uh, limited grenade eggs. They also don't swim as fast. I think you kind of get the idea I'm, get, I'm getting here with this. Two more boils and we should be done. Alright, now where's that last one? Ah, oh, shoot. You have to be careful not to get too close to him, because he will, like, knock you off. Or spin you around. I can't work this right. He'll knock you unconscious a bit and make you spin around. Okay, now those electrical attacks. Just kind of move up and down, and he shouldn't be able to hit you. But if you don't go too close to his body, then that's going to happen. Especially in first-person mode, that looks really weird. Fire! Alright, we got him. Whoa, his eyes? You little sympathy killing a poor blind fish that time I opened my eyes to see what I'm doing. And now he's back with a full- Oh, I'm in the mouth, I'm in the mouth. Okay, I I'm in the mouth. Okay, what is going on here? Switch view. Get out of there. Okay, he also has that bubble attack. Be careful of that. Moving. I am under siege as we speak. So basically now he has a full new health bar, and this time the weak point is his eyes. So, let's target his eyes. Oh, if I can stop getting hit by his body. He's out of hits a couple weak points. Ha, we got him. Well, he's one. Oh, please love my eyes. Well, if they tell me not to do it, that usually means I should. Uh, we're still under fire by electrical attacks. 
That's the problem. The best chance to get them is when he's looking away from you. Okay, a couple more. Come on, a couple more. That's it. That's all I need. That ought to hit him. No, oh, shoot. Fire. Target locked! That's it. Kamikaze to the death! And we got him. Ah, that's, that's, I thought that's funny. He goes upside down like most fish. Pursers! Things seem to have gone belly up. You can say that again. 100 years of oceanic journey brought to an undignified end. And the Jiggy comes out of his little anger thing. Ah, I guess Kazooie was right. Dang. Who'd have thunk it? And I'm just gonna sail on down and get my Jiggy. Now, if you don't mind me, Lord Wu Fak Fak, I believe I'm done with everything that you've uh, put us through here. I would have come in person as Banjo Kazooie, but I just thought I was too good for you and I came as a submarine. Deal. Anyway, so that's now we're pretty much done with the submarine now that uh, Lord Wu Fak Fak's out of commission. Hmm, trying to think if there's anything else. No, I think that's it, so. I'm gonna warp back to Atlantis, but then I'm gonna. Oh, guess we gotta get on the pad. There we go. I'm gonna go back to Atlantis, transform back again to Banjo Kazooie, and I'll uh, meet you up. So, I'm going to transform into them now off screen. Okay. And basically, I'm just leaving out the little tunnel that we came here through. <laughs> just to swim in, because we're actually. We, we pretty much done everything we can for the moment. Like everything that I want to do on my little to-do list. Which actually I don't even know why. I, can, I don't make a list. I just kind of go with what I know to do. I say here. Come on. Tentacle, don't you be blocking me. I really do not have the time to do this. Alright. There we go. We'll just, uh, swim on through here. And now, time to use, uh, Kazooie's little, uh, submarine, little, uh, spinny thing once again. Press Z, because you knows that this door has a Kazooie face on it. Charge through it. Alright. Ah, it's all getting noisy over here now. I'm going to edit some audio. Who the heck is this guy? Greetings, feeble earthlings. Wow, real aliens! We're also in a bit of a hurry. Let me guess, you need a phone home. E.T. references. No, we have a cell phone for that. The drive unit on our ship has run out of fuel. It's powered by crystallized ice, but we don't have any. I'm sure we'll be able to get sign up, figure something out. And that we will. Just stand in the middle here. Get dry eggs ready. And prepare yourself. Gotta get right in the tube. There we go. Power up the other crystals quickly. So now let's uh, be hurry about this. There's another one. Hang on. Alrighty then. Another one there. Oh, hang on. Come on, come on. Gotta get just right in the worst. Okay, we got it. Thank you, Earthling, Bear, and Bird. Now, please exit out. He's just firing crazy. Sorry, there's a. Th they're all showing them all the pep party. That guy in the back was just like, yeah, shooting like crazy. Land on a shiny thing. You may have that. Now go. All right. Now I heard a ginger. I want to make sure if I can get. Oh, it's a minjo. Run. Them dastardly aliens and their confound tricks. They saw it coming. Anyway. Well, we exited their spaceship. Main drive engaged. Activating nav scanners. Strange going lights on. Okay, that's good. All systems are go. Let's get out of this awful earthling water. And find the kids. I think they ejected somewhere over a snowy mountain. Hmm, that may, that may be important later. Uh oh, it's going crazy. 
Well, at least we're getting prepared to spin, take off. And it launches off in the direction towards the cliffside. And now, you could now, don't forget to do this. You have to swim back and swim to the little crater to get your jiggy for doing that ice egg thing. We're up to 35. Dang. I'm speeding this up because it's basically us return to the surface. And we're just gonna head over to Jolly Roger so that we can get our just rewards for saving his mate. Hey! Yeah, everything's going good here. Thanks for rescuing my partner. I ain't nothing of it. No, honestly, I'm rather pleased. I'm gonna tanker up my finest ginger beer out in the house. Perhaps later. And please accept this mom's little trinket instead. Alright! Another jiggy. Okay. Oh, let's get on it. There we go. 36. I think that's an. Well, I think that. Yeah, I think that is enough to get the next uh, Jiggy Wiggy's Temple, but I'm not gonna do that quite. Is this thing on? Aw, uh, I guess not. Dang, the jukebox. It, it, if, it, when you turn it on, it'll actually play music from the game. Like, you can select to hear tracks that have played, like boss music, land music, which is kinda cool, but anyway. It has to be music you've already heard, like, you already went into an area that would have that music. And, you know, we are done here at Jolly Rogers Lagoon. I think it is time we, uh, head on out and, uh, you know what? I'm gonna, there's some things we can do in, uh, Spiral Mountain now that we have that, uh, Kazooie Torpedo and the other areas, and a new area of this Isle of Hags we can get with that. So, you know what? In the next part, I'm gonna meet you back in the Jinjo Village, like, if you start re to start the game again. And, uh, next part, we're gonna do some more backtracking.